Uneducated. All right, man, let's talk about uh, the Detroit Pistons, uh, you know, uh, bold prediction by um, uh, my man from the, uh, excuse me, Athletic. Um, and I'm going to do a preview show at some point about the Pistons before the regular season start. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live and drop video. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this. So I appreciate y'all for, for sliding through. The expert makes a bold prediction about the Detroit Pistons. Um, so let's shout out to Ian Keller, Stress and Piston Power. He says, uh, you won't find many people who are super high on Detroit Pistons right now. I would argue that in time covering a team, this is least exciting fans have been for a season. They're fresh out of hope after being fed nothing for five seasons and need to see, to see some results. Most publications I predicted Pistons to win under 30 games again, which sadly would mark and uh, will be a marked improvement over last season's debacle. But John Hollinger of the Athletics picked the Pistons. As one of the teams that he would think exceed expectations next season, he doesn't think they'll be good or anything, but he does think <laughs> they'll be good, bet to exceed 25 wins for the first time since 2018-19. That's crazy that that's like they haven't exceeded 20 uh with 25 wins since 18-19. So that's what it's three seasons, bro. So that's three seasons they have they haven't exceeded that, man. So to me, that's pretty pathetic, um, you know, and Tom Gores just don't care. What, you know, what did Lloyd say on that song with Lil Wayne You Long here don't care. Like, they don't care, bro. This is, most owners is just, as long as they're not losing money, they don't care about these pro teams. It's just like having a Ferrari or something like that. It's not a bold prediction as predictions go. It might be a nine-win jump for the Pistons. Is it a nine-win jump from 16? That that might be when you consider it would it be nearly double the win total from last season. It's uh so it's at least something. It's a reason for his choice that interests me. Hollinger uh cited a number of factors on why the Pistons will exceed expectations next season. And you know, the Tigers just lost to the Guardians on Saturday, but you know, Guardians be putting the foot in our ass. So that is what it is. That that's the you know, that kind of was to be expected, but they going in the right directions. The wings going in the right directions. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, really the pistons would just be icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? When the pistons do good, the, the city is different because of the 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 the, cha- the 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 change in season. Um, like you gotta understand the NBA finals is in the summertime. So I remember when the uh I remember, you know, when the Pistons won in 04, man, that was that man, dude, when they was, you know, people had projectors on the side of their house and the closeout game was a game five versus the Lakers. Like, man, that was a hell of a, that was the last great summer I had in my life. Real talk. That was the last, my last favorite summer. I, I'm not a summer person. You know, that was my last great summer, bro. That was, that was man, that was, the whole hood was on fire, bro, when they did that. The whole city was on fire. So it's a little bit different when they win it because it's the summertime. <laughs> and it just said it just put us in a whole different type of mood. The weather then broke during the playoffs. When they win, it's always – we never really seen the Lions win, win anything for real. They made Tennessee championship game in 91. But we seen last year, you know, it was different. It's different when it hit in the winter. But when it hit in the summer – it's different. Even when the Tigers make a run, it's in the fall. That's my favorite season. That's a nice. It's nice, but man, that that summertime success hit different. That June, that beginning of June, in the spring, the beginning of the summer, the, the NBA Finals, that hit different, bro. Make the summer that much better. The Pistons have a better coach and a better front office. He says, he "said Detroit has upgraded Williams, Weaver, Clown, Carr to JB Biggerstaff, Trey, and Langdon. Obviously, the latter duo has to prove themselves, but they can barely be hardly be worse." Knock on wood. Langdon has already put together more cohort. Ross and the Reaver ever did. Biggerstaff can improve upon Monty just by staying awake. Nasty work. Uh, Coach Biggers have already differentiated himself from his prese- predecessor by uh, embracing analytics and talking about three-point shots and the best way to get them. 
Um, uh, okay, that's cool. The Pistons should have uh better bent, better health. Should you know, Detroit got a ton of injuries last season. Those players are gone off the injured Alec Burke, Boy John Bojanovic, Joe Harris, Marvin Bagley, James Wiseman, Isaiah Livers. They've replaced some guys with Tobias Harris, Malik Beasley, Tim Hardaway Jr. Veterans of the history is staying healthy. They should have fewer games with G Leaguers on the floor next uh, Nick, on the floor next season. So that's interesting as well, too. You know, if they come here and get injured, then we know something. <laughs> We know something did. They come here and get injured. We know something. That's bull job. You know what I mean? So we know something, but that's cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, more durable, more shooting, more more better pieces around Kate Cunningham. The Pistons got rid of Dead Weight, Killian Hayes, James Wise, and Isaiah Livers were three of the worst players in the NBA last season. Simply not having them on the roster will improve the team. I'm happy. So I don't have to watch them anymore next season. Nasty work. Eastern Conference is not great. Past and it's past the top teams, East, Eastern Conference pretty much mediocre. So is the West. The Pistons can compete with any team outside of six, seven, as everyone else is trash. It's not a great sign when twenty-eight wins looks like a victory, but that's where the Pistons are until they prove otherwise. So, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, um, you know, a lot of a lot of they, you know, um, continuity or. You know, re coming together and, and winning something, uh, it had issues because, you know, a health, bad coaching. You know, that was the issue. You know, so. Um, you know. You know. Um, but, uh, you know, so, but yeah, we'll see if they can stay healthy starting with a, they, they leader, um, so, um, so yeah. So, but I think uh, honestly, when I just hit a button that I shouldn't hit, but um, but honestly, I I mean I I say my prediction, which I told people before, um, um, I save it, but you know nonetheless, you know, I I would love to see uh, I would love to see uh, them do good, and you know might might be just too much to ask from from the, from the big man above for them to do better. We got all these other teams doing a lot better. But, you know, we'll see, man. But, hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Kick, Twitch. Well, I ain't on Twitch. It's Spotify and Anchor. Check out Detroit Piss and Talk playlist. Peace.